negative for these guys are that synthesis reactions are like a marriage. For any of you that are in a dating relationship of any kind, even a friendship, quite frankly, that you know when you're by yourself, things are easier because you can do whatever you want. And then when you're in a relationship, it doesn't always work that way, right? You have to make compromises and all that lovely stuff more complicated. Okay? So there's a couple examples of synthesis that they give there for you that are already done. So you could see on the left-hand side, you take the element sodium and the element chlorine, you put them together, and you make the compound sodium chloride. Now what a lot of people will ask is, what happened to that two? Because on the left-hand side here, we have that little two on our chlorine, and on the right-hand side, it disappeared. Well, on the left-hand side, the chlorine is by itself, it's a Hofbrinkel on the left-hand side. But on the right-hand side, the chlorine is not by itself. It has a buddy. It's got sodium. Whenever you take two elements, you put them together and make a new compound that wasn't there already, you have to check the charges on the things that you're marrying together. So if we take the element sodium and the element chlorine and make a compound out of them, sodium's plus one and chlorine's minus one, so a plus one minus one, you put those guys together, it just makes NaCl, not NaCl2. Well, you still have to take into account the law of conservation of mass and matter and all that stuff. So if there's two chlorines on the left, we still have to have two chlorines on the right, but that's where we put our coefficients in the front to get things to balance overall. Okay. Or like that second guy, magnesium plus sulfur, when people say, wait, there's an eight on the left, but the little eight's gone on the right-hand side. Well, on the left-hand side, that's that PS. Don't forget about your Hofbrinkles, right? Sulfur comes in packages of eight. Well, on the right-hand side, sulfur's not by itself anymore. It's with magnesium. And when you put magnesium and sulfur together, if you check the charges of magnesium and sulfur, magnesium's plus two and sulfur's minus two. So a plus two minus two, it's just MGS, right? Not MGS. Yes, when they're by themselves in element form, not in compound form. Okay, so we're going to try out a couple examples of let's marry a few elements together um, and see what happens. So if we had the element lithium and the element phosphorus and we wanted to marry those guys together, we're going to smush lithium and phosphorus together and make a compound out of them. Now I'm not going to have that little four follow over to the other side because the reason the four is there on the left is because phosphorus is by itself. It's not by itself on the right-hand side. It's going to form a compound with our lithium. Anytime you make a new compound, you have to check the charges of the stuff you're smushing together. So we would look at lithium and say, well, what's the charge on that guy? And phosphorus, what's the charge on that guy? Well, lithium's plus one. Phosphorus is a minus three. So if we have plus 1 and minus 3, and we're going to make a compound out of those guys, it turns into Li3P. There's our newly formed compound. Now we have to do the whole law of conservation of matter thing. If we have four phosphoruses on the left, we need four phosphoruses on the right as well. So that's where your balancing comes into play, where we put a big 4 out in front. And then we've got 12 lithiums, so we need 12 lithiums on the left-hand side as well, so we put a 12. Yes, sir? The, the big four? To make sure our phosphoruses balance, because on the left-hand side it was P4, and on the right-hand side there was just one phosphorus. So we had to make sure those guys balance. Yes, ma'am? Perfect. Yep. Charges first. Get your formulas written correctly, and then you go and balance the thing overall. Okay. All right. We'll try another guy. What if we took the element hydrogen, the element phosphorus, so we want to smush them together, make a compound out of them. So we'd say, okay, I'm going to take element hydrogen, element fluorine. Let's make a compound. Anytime you make a new compound, you have to check the charges on the things you're smushing together. So hydrogens plus one. Fluorine is minus one. 
So plus 1 minus 1, it, it's good, right? Just HF, that's all we have to write. Now that we have that written, now we go back and we balance overall. Since we have two H's and two F's on the left, we need two H's and two F's on the right. We don't write H little 2, F little 2. The reason the little 2's are there on the left-hand side, on these, on this side, it's in, they're Hofbrinkles, right? Because it's hydrogen by itself. It's fluorine by itself. That's when you need the little 2's. On the right-hand side, they're not by themselves anymore. We made a compound out of both of them. So we can just, the, the little 2's, we don't need them anymore. 